if you put your money in the things you distrust or are destroying the world, you're going to have a very pessimistic outlook on the fate of the earth. If you put money into what you love and is around you, your community will thrive. Some fun facts about local business that most of you know, but this is for the United States. Um, about 60 to 80% of our economy is in locally owned business, depending upon how you define local business. These businesses are key for local prosperity. They are key for equality. We've got some good evidence on that, and they're highly competitive. These businesses are also highly profitable. These are some interesting data from Canada uh, in 2009, looking at profit rates across different sizes of business. The most profitable businesses are those with 10 to 20 employees. The least profitable businesses are those traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Go figure. All of us are over-investing in Fortune 500 companies we distrust and under-investing frankly, most of us not investing at all in the local businesses we love. And in the U.S. context, if we were to change this kind of mismatch, if we were to put, you know, the amount of money that belongs in the local economy in there, it would translate to about $100,000 per person of additional capital available for local businesses. It's hard to imagine an economic development strategy that would be more powerful than changing our investment habits. But you know, you don't need perfection in order to achieve this. This is a study that I did in uh, Metro Ohio, uh, Metro Cleveland uh, in 2010, looking at the impacts of the 25% shift to local food. And what we found is that a 25% shift in people's purchasing patterns toward local food would create 27,000 new jobs, pay almost a billion dollars in new wages, and generate $126 million in new taxes. Now, to achieve this, you would need to expand the local business capital stock, um, newer expanded local businesses, we had calculated that would be about three quarters of a billion dollars. But that's the tiny red stripe on the left, because three quarters of a billion dollars turns out to be 1% of what Metro Clevelanders have in their bank accounts, and a quarter of 1% of what they have in their pension funds. So the point is, is that even a very small shift that we make from global to local investing can make a huge difference in community well-being. 